Dear students, under the topic linear asymptotes, we will be learning about the method for finding parallel asymptotes, the method for finding oblique asymptotes and the method for finding intersection of a curve with its asymptotes. In our previous lecture, we learned the definition of asymptotes and the types of asymptotes with examples. We also learned the rules to solve oblique asymptotes when the roots are equal and when they are distinct. Now in this video lecture, we will be le learning the method for finding parallel asymptotes. So the rules for finding parallel asymptote. The first step is we have to decide the maximum number of asymptotes to the given curve. That is the number of asymptotes will be equal to the highest degree of the given curve. The second step will be we have to check the existence of parallel asymptotes to x-axis and y-axis. How to check the existence of parallel asymptotes? Now, if there is no coefficient of the highest power of the curve in terms of x, then the parallel asymptotes exist for x-axis. In a similar way, if there is no coefficient of highest power of the curve for y terms, then the parallel asymptotes exist to y-axis. You will understand this better when we consider a problem and when we solve it. And after confirming the existence of the parallel asymptotes, we have to find the parallel asymptotes for the curve. To find the parallel asymptote to the x-axis, we have to equate the coefficient of highest power of x terms to 0. In a similar way, to find the asymptotes parallel to y-axis, we have to equate the coefficient of highest power of y terms to 0. In that way, we can find the parallel asymptotes to x-axis and y-axis respectively. We shall now consider a problem and solve for asymptotes for that particular problem. Now here we have a problem. Find the asymptotes for the curve x square y equal to y plus x. As a first step, we shall first rewrite this equation. This equation is similar to x squared y. Bringing y and x to the left side of the equation, it becomes negative y. Negative x is equal to 0. So what is the first step? The first step is we have to decide the maximum number of asymptotes for the given curve. So the number of asymptotes will be equal to the highest degree of the given curve. Now, for this given curve, what is the highest degree? If you check the first term, the degree of x is 2 and the degree of y is 1. We have to add the powers of both the terms in order to get the degree of this term. So 2 plus 1 will be 3. So the degree of the, this term x square y is 3. So the degree for this term is 3 and the degree for this term is 1 and the degree for this term is also 1. Now if you see what is the highest degree, the highest degree is 3. So therefore the given curve has a maximum of 3 asymptotes. So let us write that now. So I have written that here. So the highest degree of the curve is 3. So therefore the maximum number of asymptotes for the given curve is 3. So what is the second step? We have to check the existence of parallel asymptotes. We have to check whether parallel asymptotes exist for this curve or not. How we will check that? To check the existence of pa asymptote parallel to x-axis, we have to see whether there is a coefficient for the highest power of the curve for x. Now what is the highest degree of the curve? It is 3. Now we have to check whether we have an x term with degree 3. If we see there is no x term with degree 3 because here the x term has degree 2 only and here the x term has degree 1. So there is no term with degree 3 for x which means that there is no coefficient for x cube term. So therefore parallel asymptotes exist for the x axis. So if we check in the given curve x cube term does not exist which implies there is no coefficient for x cube and if there is no coefficient for x cube it implies that parallel asymptotes exist to x axis. 
in a similar way we have to check for y do we have a y cube term in this equation no which implies that there is no coefficient for y cube so therefore there uh, parallel asymptotes exist to y axis so this is how we have to find the existence of parallel asymptotes after confirming the existence of parallel asymptotes we have to find the asymptotes that are parallel to x axis and the asymptotes parallel to y axis so how to find that in order to find the asymptote parallel to x axis we have to equate the coefficient of highest power of x terms to 0 now for x term in this equation what is the highest power for x term alone that we have to check now if you see we have x term for in here and x term here the highest power of x term is 2 so i and here and if you see here the power of x is 1 so when we compare the highest power of x term is 2 now we have to equate the coefficient of x square to 0 what is the coefficient of x square it is y so y is equal to 0 is the asymptote parallel to x axis so let me put that into words now so in order to find the asymptotes parallel to x axis we have to equate the highest power of x term to 0 and we saw that the highest power of x term is x square and its coefficient is y actually we have to equate the coefficient of highest power of uh, x term to 0 the coefficient is y and therefore the asymptote parallel to x axis is y equal to 0 so i have written that here next to find the uh, asymptotes parallel to y axis in order to find the asymptotes parallel to y axis equate coefficient of highest power of y term to 0 so what is the highest power of y term in this equation if you see we have y in these two terms and here the power of y is 1 and here also the power of y is 1 so the coefficient of this is x square and for this is minus 1 so when you take it common so you will be getting x squared minus 1 and y has been taken common minus x equal to 0 now if you see the coefficient of the highest power of y highest power of y is 1 so this coefficient of y is x square minus 1 so we should equate x square minus 1 to 0 in order to find the asymptote parallel to y axis so therefore the equate the coefficient of highest power of y term to 0 so we found that the coefficient of highest power of y term is x squared minus 1 so equating x squared minus 1 we get to be uh, to it zero we get this as actually x squared minus 1 can be written as x plus 1 multiplied with x minus 1 equal to 0 because using the formula a squared minus b squared which is a plus b multiplied with a minus b equal to 0 so from this we obtain the value of x to be equal to negative 1 and the value of x to be equal to 1 so therefore x equal to plus or minus 1 is the asymptote parallel to y axis so i have written that here therefore uh, the there are three asymptotes for the given curve one of the asymptote is y equal to 0 and the other two asymptotes are x equal to 1 and x equal to minus 1 so these are the three asymptotes parallel asymptotes for the given curve hence the equation of the asymptotes for the given curve are y equal to 0 x equal to 1 and x equal to minus 1 hope you have understood this lecture we will do more problems on parallel asymptotes for your better understanding thank you